Hello everyone, this is Unreal Noob and welcome to Unreal Engine 4 Beginners Tutorial. We are making a dungeon crawler and in this video we will be continuing to add our movement inputs and mouse input. So let us get started. We need to open up our content folder and go to the player controller. Uh, before that, uh, what we would require would be our interface. For the character and the player controller um, interfaces, uh, under blueprints, make the interface, we'll call it BPI player. And we'll make another one. We'll call it BPI PC for player controller. We'll open up this one. We'll call it player reference. And we'll open up the PC. We'll call it character ref. Mm, in this one, we'll add an output of the type pp player. It would be an object reference. Compile save. And for the PC output, and this one would be pp player controller object reference. Compile and close. <coughs> in class settings, make sure you add your uh, BPIs. So this is the player controller the PC and in the player it would be the player then we can see under interfaces these have been added so we'll just call in self and in this one all right uh, This would be not character ref, PC ref. So this one would be self as well. Over here, let's call it PC reference. And in the BPI player, we will call this character. Character reference. Uh, for those who okay, make sure that you reconnect these pins after you rename the those uh, and when everything's fine um, make sure you save all okay for those who are new to this uh, channel and don't know what interfaces are and why we are using it I will explain that to you once so interfaces uh, interface classes are useful for ensuring that a set of unrelated classes implement a common set of functions. This is very useful in cases where some uh, game functionality may be shared by large complex classes that are otherwise dissimilar. For example, a game might have a system whereby entering a trigger volume can activate traps, alert enemies, or this might be implemented by a react to trigger function on traps and such as those. So what it means is <coughs> BPI allows us to actually get references of a class that we want to use by calling it in another class. Let's say uh, uh, that would be like uh, using our character in our player controller. We will be using the character reference in the player controller soon enough, but before that, let us add the access inputs. The first thing we would want is to call the get no just forward move forward and the move right function access events. Um <clears throat> on move forward we want to get the controller.
Uh, yeah, get controlled pawn pawn. Mm, from this, we would actually um, can just check in the third person bp blueprints and third person character for whatever they are using they're getting the can control rotation breaking actually we do not need to do it like that <coughs> so what is the logic uh, in moving the player forward or forward or left to right the logic in th in that would be we will get um, first we need to call in our event begin play we need to get the character uh, didn't I call it character ref uh, I called it player ref right? my bad player reference and we can promote this one to variable call it uh, get player character okay we can get the player character and player ref and we can just promote that to a variable our character reference and from the character reference we can get the capsule component and we can get the forward vector and we can get the right vector <coughs> and get control pawn we can add um, movement input actually we can just even do that for this uh, actually never mind we'll leave this one as character reference for now um, We'll add in the world direction forward vector and just add it like that and the world direction would be the right vector controlled pawn and the scale value just like that and let us check now we can move forward right left and back we cannot move our mouse at this moment so let's see what we can do about that We'll call it we'll comment this one and call movement logic <coughs> and for the mouse we do not need a lot of code for that um, look up and turn so we want to add your input let's compile and test it uh, yeah we can leave it uh, sorry uh, turn would be the yaw so yeah we can turn like this and this one would be our pitch so once that is done let's see we still cannot look up and down and let's see why is that We'll call it mouse controls make sure they are by one another mm, we will open up our dungeon crawler folder mm, and in the character we'll open up our character and see what's wrong 
in the spring arm we want to use pawn control rotation and once that is true we can look up and down but you can see like we can just move below the earth that is not really a good thing so what we could do is we have to set the minimum pitch and the maximum pitch in the event begin play for that we call in a sequencer and let's try to get our character reference and get the pitch uh, no let's see if we can get a reference to our camera or the spring arm works no it does not so what we can do is get the player camera manager we can delete the character reference and the spring arm reference and call in the set view pitch max and we can also set the view pitch minimum and plug these in so how much should that be 10 and minus 5 maybe let's see how that is Hundred, which is hundred. Okay, so this one would be around thirty, and this one would be minus hundred. How much is minus hundred? So not thirty either. Let's say fifteen. Yeah, this is good enough. Uh, one thing we'd like to change is the spring arm. Let's make sure it's to the spine, maybe. Mm. This one feels way to back, so let's take it to be 100 maybe. Actually this one, why is it? Zero. Uh, let's just make this one go up. The spring arm 300 was good enough, right? So this is not really great so let's give it to root i would say what happened to this root isn't a great place to have spine 3 spine 3 looks good enough make it 300 make sure this is at 0 x and I'll just make it lower a bit this is great to be honest I would say we do not go below the ground and we can move left right we still do not have the animations but we can work with animations in our next episode thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you learned something from it and I will see you in the next one thank you